before his, the end was coming. So he had to act fast and, and figure out right away where a pilot was coming from. So he asked him a question. Do you say, I am a king on your own? Or did someone tell you about me? So what he was asking was, if you know Jesus as your king on your own, then it comes from within, from the Spirit, tells you that Jesus is your king. Or did you hear it from someone else? It reminds me of the question that Jesus asked Peter. He asked Peter, who do you say that I am? Immediately, Peter said, you are the Messiah. And so, Jesus knew right away that flesh and blood did not tell you this, but my Heavenly Father told you this. So it came from within to know that I am, Jesus is the King. So Pilate had the wrong answer. And so we have to ask ourselves that question sometimes. As if Jesus was talking to you, how would you answer the question? Do you say I am king on your own, or did someone tell you this? So what is your answer to that? Do you say that Jesus is your king, and do you know that on your own? Now, Jesus went on to tell Pilate, I have come to testify to the truth. The truth that Jesus came to testify to was in direct contradiction to the truth that Pilate had. Because Pilate's truth is the truth of the earthly kingdom, whereas Jesus' truth is from the heavenly kingdom. Jesus' truth, one truth that Jesus has is that that person sitting next to you is love. Pilate's truth is that person sitting next to you is someone that you can use. Now, today we do celebrate the solemnity of Christ the King. And uh, we don't have a lot of experience with kings in our country. We don't have that system. Anymore. But you can uh, imagine, though, that if you had a king, you have a king in Jesus, and how should you treat that person? With reverence, obedience, and respect. So with reverence, you give time to Jesus. You give time through prayer and going to Mass. You give obedience to Jesus by knowing Jesus' law, the natural law. The law that's written on your heart. You take the law that you're taught from your head and you bring it to your heart. And you treat Jesus with respect. And to treat Jesus with respect is to give dignity to all peoples, whether they're poor, unborn, or dying. That's how you give respect to Jesus. If you give reverence, obedience, and respect to Jesus, and he is your king. Now, if Christ is your king, then a way to show respect also is to live in the sacramental life. Sacramental life brings us closer to God, and thereby brings us closer to those around us. Sacramental life includes, of course, the initiation sacraments, baptism, first Eucharist, and confirmation. <laughs> you will be fully initiated into the faith to receive the fullness of grace, to live out the life that Jesus wants for us. And the sacraments of, for health, spiritual and physical, sacraments of reconciliation and healing. And lastly, the sacraments of holy orders and matrimony. So I want to spend a minute, a minute on the sacrament of matrimony. 
Now, Christ is my king. My marriage will include reverence, obedience, and respect. If Christ is my king, my marriage will include reverence. Time for a prayer in our marriage. A time for the couple to go with their family to Mass. Reverence is bring your children into the fullness of faith. Build the foundation of faith for your children. That's showing reverence to Christ. If Christ is my king, my marriage will include obedience to our vows, commitment to the love of that person sitting next to me, not using that person as the world teaches us. If Christ is our king, then my marriage will include respect. Respect by giving dignity to each other, by honoring my spouse's dreams, values, and aspirations. That is showing respect for Christ the King in my marriage. And I also want to work on my marriage. I have worked, I have been long to uh, here uh, through our parish through the Teams of Our Lady, which is a couple ministry, four or five couples get together once a month to work on that second matrimony because it's important. And if Christ is my king, and it's important enough to work on that second matrimony. And through uh, Teams of Our Lady, we show reverence by sharing prayer, scripture together as a couple, as couples. And through Teams of Our Lady, we show obedience to our vows, and we build up each other, other couples, supporting each other couples through our journey on a, our sacrament of matrimony. And through Teams of Our Lady, we show respect for the matrimony by supporting each other in fulfilling the obligations and celebrations of matrimony. In Daniel and in Revelation, it is said that Christ is coming amid the clouds. But it also said that we are building a kingdom here on earth. And as we wait, as we will be waiting in Advent, right around the corner, we want to build that kingdom of God here on earth. And a kingdom has a king. To make a choice. Is Jesus your king? Or is Pilate your king? Do you say, I am king on your own? Or does someone tell you this? 